son was examining basketball shoes on footstalker.com. Mom, can I have 90 bucks? He asked me. I want to buy the LeBron James shoes. LeBron James is a shooting guard for the Miami Heat. This is the kind of common knowledge that slips easily off the tongue of a mother of a child who wears axe. <laughs> he follows the NBA the way I follow the calendar of events at Powell's. <laughs> so mom, can I have 90 bucks? LeBron James shoes? Maybe, I said. Do you have any loose teeth? This was a trick question. I knew for a fact he had a loose one. I'd seen him wiggling it, but he hadn't been trying very hard. He'd lost a lot of teeth in the last year, but this was his last baby tooth, a premolar with a shiny crown, a real piece of nostalgia. Leo's teeth are now hard and pretty, but when he was little, he'd had to have them fixed under general anesthesia at the hospital. He doesn't remember any of the operation, but he loves the story. Tell me the one about my teeth, he'll beg. Hmm, I'll say, nodding my head. That was a dark and stormy morning. <laughs> The streets were empty. We packed you into the Honda Odyssey and headed north to Providence. <laughs> he played cops and robbers with a vitamin bottle labeled Sudafed. <laughs> and a pistol he'd built out of Tinker Toys. I believe in teachable moments, in learning all the time. For instance, we play a lot of categorical word games on the way to the beach, like fruit that is spherical, or body parts with three letters. One time, we were lost on the outskirts of Vancouver, Washington at night, and hail was pelting the Honda. My husband, Ben, was driving, and everyone was looking to me to please lighten the mood. That was when I invented our most popular family word game ever. I'd been inspired by a newly published book I'd read about in the Journal of the American Library Association, Swearing Matters. <laughs> How to teach kids to say what they really feel in a way that makes them feel heard. I tried to get that book into the school library, but Marla Larson, the PTA president, she shot that idea down. <laughs> Anyhow, the first time we played the ABC swearing game that dark hailing night, my kids couldn't come up with anything worse than ass, boring, and can't. <laughs> boring isn't a bad word, I said. Neither is can't. That's not what you tell me, my daughter said, rolling her eyes. I further explained. And ass isn't really bad either. I turned and looked at them in their car seats. Do you guys know about compound words? <laughs> like butterfly and handshake? Well, compound curse words usually sound better than simple curse words. They're more lyrical. Like ass is okay, but asshole? Much more interesting. Linguistically speaking, that is. <laughs> we drove an hour in the torrential storm before finding our way back to Portland. The next evening, after dinner, while he was watching a David Attenborough video about hummingbirds, I told Leo I was taking him for his flu shot in the morning. <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> He 
he said spontaneously. <laughs> My kids are so smart. <laughs> Leo and I stared at each other. I'm going to Freddy's, I said. I'm always on the lookout for opportunities to give my kids space. Besides, I needed to get a refill on my cat's Prozac. <laughs> Leo lost his first two baby teeth at preschool. He dove off a slide onto his face. Those teeth did not have crowns. A few years later, Leo started losing his teeth naturally. Not that having them knocked out at preschool isn't natural, but my favorite dental saga was when Leo had a painful tooth that wouldn't come out. We went to see our pediatric dentist. Dr. Woodsy's office happens to share a parking lot with Fred Meyer. We go there for Cracker Jacks after appointments. <laughs> Dr. Woodsy examined Leo's tooth. She wiggled it and then stood back. I'll give you a choice, Leo. She's the kind of dentist who gives options. I can rub some gel on your gum that'll numb you up, then I can pull out your tooth, or I can put the gel on your gum and you can pull the tooth out yourself. Leo said, son of a bitch. <laughs> We suspect Tourette's, <laughs> I said to Dr. Woodsy. I'll let the two of you talk while I get the gel. Oh man, Leo, talk about between a rock and a hard place, I said. Look, you should let Dr. Woodsy do the pulling. She'll be quick. No way, said Leo. You've got to get that tooth out, buddy. I said, you or her, Leo brooded. If you pull it out yourself, I said, I'll buy you anything you want at Fred Meyer. He hadn't been expecting that. Really, he said, anything? Hmm, I said, pretending to think about it. Yeah, anything. Dr. Woodsy returned with a tube of gel and a Q-tip. Have you decided, Leo, me or you? I'll do it myself, Leo said. Okay then, said Dr. Woodsy, get ready. Once the gel is applied, you've got 15 minutes before feeling will return. I'm sure Dr. Woodsy expected Leo to pull the tooth out right then in her office. But Leo and I were of one mind. Freddy's was close by, and it would be much more exciting for him to stand near the thing he wanted. <laughs> and anticipate having that thing while he wiggled. We tore down the stairs at the dental plaza and hauled our tushies across the parking lot. Leo marched with purpose to the toy section and planted himself smack dab in front of the non-expanding recreational foam display. That one, he said, pointing at the biggest Nerf gun on the shelf. That one? The Nerf and Strike Unity Power Obliterator System 2? <laughs> The N-Strike series is notable for its versatility. As it says on the box, this weapon can shoot different types of ammo from discrete barrels. Leo, it costs 50 bucks. Yup, mom, that's the one. He reached for the gun, but I was quicker. I grabbed it off the shelf and held it out of his reach. Don't even think about touching the gun until you've yanked out that tooth. <laughs> the wiggle didn't hurt, but it took effort. With his fist in his mouth, he said, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> The blood dripped off Leo's fist onto the tile floor. 
I didn't have any tissue because for the first time in a long time, I'd cleaned out my purse. <laughs> Good parenting is about proximity and distance, when to comfort, when to push, when to get out of their way. This is what I was thinking when who should come around the corner but Marla Larson, <laughs> the PTA president, and her twins, Lester and Sophie. <sighs> I thought. Marla's cart was filled with spherical fruit, dark leafy greens, and loaves of sprouted wheat bread. Sophie and Lester stared at Leo in stunned silence. <laughs> he was wild-eyed, wiggling his tooth, stamping his feet, eyeing the Nerf gun I was holding over his head, turning around and around. Marla pulled a packet of tissue out of her purse and handed it to me. Sophie said, when I grow up, I'm going to be a dentist. A few more children and parents had gathered. Leo looked straight at us. He made the last pull look gallant, but I knew it was for show. He placed the tooth into my open palm. The crowd clapped politely and dispersed. Leo grabbed the Nerf and Strike Unity Power Obliterator System 2 from under my arm and walked victoriously towards the exit. Thank you.